I am here. Hey, it is Thursday morning after our class last night. And I wanted to do a video because I think that holds us both accountable uh, to be clear about what's due and what we need to do. And, and before I jump into that, I just want to say thank you. Like, I appreciate your understanding last night. It was kind of a hard night for me. FYI, I have completely switched back to my Mac now. And really, it's like being home again. <laughs> I really like this OS, it's really nice. So anyway, I think I've, at this point, I'm ready to start coding uh, React stuff that we need to do for next week, so I'm way excited about that. And I wanna go over what I did for the lectures uh, for the rest of the semester and the draft of Dev2, just because I think it's a great time to you know hone in on that content. Okay, so scrolling up, Right. And by the way, I did go through and just add some zeros if things hadn't been submitted. So if there's something that you know you completed, please resubmit and then let's have a discussion about it. Um, so if I'm scrolling down through here, oh, my scroll rail is something I also have to get used to. So last night, we all agreed that, um, and Oscar was the only one to demonstrate last night. So for this learn together, and we've talked about this, but let me just say it, is that what you need to do is implement routing. Now, if in your perusal of other content outside of the Udemy course, you haven't done some routing, then I'm willing to take week 15 as some routing content, but I'm suspecting if that's true, you probably have some past semesters you want to. So you want to do that and then start the implementation of hooks, right? So get routing done, start your implementation of hooks, get as much done as you can in the emoji search, okay? So to help you towards that end uh, in week 15 lecture, what I did is I re-looked and thought about what Hugo said. So. What I decided was to switch for those who are continuing into the course, which anyone could do at this point because of the content we're about to cover, which is section 26. So if we scroll down to section 26, that's really where he's gonna talk about hooks. So there's gonna be three hours of content, so you can break this in, um, you know, get as, you can watch an hour of it this week and see if that's what you'd like to do. Otherwise, I did, interestingly enough, found some more content. One was from Maximilian, which is an hour. And that hour was really just a, I think it's a condensing of those three hours. So yeah, I, oh, that no I didn't link. But I also found 20 minutes of Travesty Media, uh, which I think is the first one. So in this case, there's only 20 minutes. You need an hour, right? Um, so you get to decide here. Uh, again, you might check out Maximilian's here, or if, if uh, like Hugo, you're still hanging in with the course, go back and start that, or start 26. So I'm gonna jump over all those other sections. We're gonna go to 26 as our last section, if you're following along. So what I did then is then on 16 and 17, which is really the only two we have left, as far as lectures go, is I said, Again, on week 16, the week after, you can uh, do another hour of content if you're following along with the course. Otherwise, and you'll see what I mean by this in a minute, is you also can find some content and I've provided here on use effect and use callbacks, okay? So that's for week 16. And then for week 17, I will get this scroll. It will take me a moment to wrap my head around, right? So then for week 17, you can finish the section 16 or find at least one hour of content that you feel you need to focus on to complete Dev 2, okay? Now, having said that, let's go look at Dev 2 because it will be, of course, at the end of the semester, it will be our last night together. And here's what I've drafted. So take your output from Dev1, implement the following. Routing uh, for different user functions like inputs or displays uh, or related content. Every, each of you had that, I noticed, after I reflected upon it. So use routing in some way. Um, you use hooks, implement hooks. Now I'm actually gonna be explicit here and also be willing to negotiate. Right, so like I know Pat said he wanted to implement authentication. 
Well, you're going to use effect to do that. Uh, you're going to use state, uh, use ref. Um, so I'm willing to negotiate the details here. Uh, you just need to think through this, but part of it is understanding. So use state for state management. Um, uh, use effect to make API calls or other related content. Use callbacks. Use callbacks to make your code more efficient. This one should be relatively easy if for those of you who watch CJ's coding garden, but I've also provided in one of the weeks a little bit of content for that. And then use ref is really when you have components um, that are in, you know, down deep in your tree and you want to pass those input references back. Now, I'm also open to other hooks, your own hooks, other hooks, and you can just chat with me about that. And the last requirement is going to be deploy to Firebase for or whatever hosting you want. And Firebase, and Hugo can tell you, because him and I did it last night after class, is really fairly easy, a couple lines generally of code that you have to do, but I will cover that to show you in detail. Okay, so having said that, ask me any questions you want, either in chat or next week. What that leaves open is really the learn togethers. The next week we know what the learn together is. So for week 16 and week 15 for the learn together, uh, we will we'll basically just take, unless I can, unless we have a conversation otherwise, which I'm totally open to, we will take that emoji icon and continue the implementation of the requirements so you, because we can do all that thing, all those things in the emoji. Uh, search, you know, the use effects, deploy. Um, we could pl practice on deploy, absolutely, with that as well. Um, using routing, that's what we're going to be doing this week, right? So that's going to be the focus of the last two learn togethers. Anyway, I um, hope that helps clear up any questions you might have had and gives you some direction because I realized I didn't do that well last night and I'm hoping this makes up for it. And also it keeps me accountable because I know what I need to do. And now that I've switched over to a computer that is working, I can actually start. Uh, and I already, I'm actually going to end up, and I recommend you do this as well, in the Learn Together directory that we're, because that we're, we're working in our public repos here. Um, and so just to be clear, in lecture, when you're doing the lecture, when you've chosen a video, do that work, for that code along, because all those lectures you need to code along with that. And so that code uh, can be submitted up in the uh, private areas, private repos. <laughs> that sounds bad, private areas. But And then in the Learn Together stuff, that's all out in the public. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start a whole new uh, project uh, f to implement that in for me because I'm going to redo it. I just want to start from scratch and redo it from the beginning. You can do it however you want. I'm just, I think it's going to be easier for me to wrap my head around it to do it kind of one piece at a time. Okay. Thanks very much. Hope this helps clarify. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please reach out. Uh, we are about three weeks away from being done. So I want you to get the most out of the time that you're here. Thanks. Bye.